Hey guys, this is Deslin Tutorials, and today we're going to be looking at a mode step style bass, and this is what it's going to sound like. It's um, you can find it in the song "Show Me a Sign." You can also find it in several other songs, but it's most popular from "Show Me a Sign." So let's get into the sound. So let's go to File, New Sound. Wait for my stupid thing to load. All right, now turn on both oscillators. You can route both your oscillators to filter one. The first oscillator is going to be deep throat. You can find that under digital hybrid. And the second oscillator is going to be a gentle speech under digital hybrid. Now go ahead and drop both those down two octaves. All right. And now go to your white noise and you can put it up to about 25% the amp. And route that up to filter one. Turn your insert one on, put it onto parabolic shaper, put the drive all the way up. And now for envelope one, you're gonna put the attack right below the A in attack, take the level down a little bit to right about uh, there. And now take the decay point to where it's pointing at the L in level. And actually put it down, put the level to about 25% like that. Now take that envelope and put it on both the pitch of oscillator 1 and 2 and put it up 2 octaves or plus 24. Oops, there we go. Alright, now filter 1 is going to be a scream filter. Put the cutoff all the way up, leave the scream where it is and take their resonance and make it point right below the R in resonance. Now we're going to go to envelope 2 and we're going to take the attack, put it all the way down, level all the way down. Decay, uh, crank it down just a tiny bit towards pointing right at the L level right there. Take the level, put it up about 75%. Actually, take the decay, put it down a little bit lower too, actually. 25% looks good. Yeah. And you're gonna take that envelope and put it right here and just to where you see that little tiny blue, just pull it up. I'll show you what that does in a second. Now go to your LFO. You're gonna change it from an LFO to a performer. Leave all that the same, except put the X fade up and sync it and put it to one fourth. You can take the LFO or the performer and put it on, cut off and put it all the way up. Take this, put it on the screen, put it down just a little bit, about right there. Take it on the resonance too, and just put a tiny bit there. Now let's go to our effects one be a teletube. Take the dry wet down to where it's pointing right past the D and dry and put the drive at the same position. Go to your EQ, take the low shelf, put it to where it's pointing at the L and shelf. Take the boost to where it's pointing at the S and boost or the T and boost. Frequency to where it's pointing at the C in frequency and high shelf to about a little bit less than 25%. Let's go to your voicing. We'll put it up to five, the unisono. Go monophon. Take the pitch cut off and put it right in the middle of the big tick and the small tick. Actually, just a little bit lower, actually, I lied. Put the pan position on. Now let's go to our effects too. I had it on a reverb. I'm gonna see how that sounds, actually. I don't really like that. I'm actually going to put a dimension expander instead. Dry wet to its pointing at the E in wet and size. Just really low. A little bit low. I'll say like 20%. Alright, and that is actually it for this tutorial. Um, thanks for watching, and yeah, hope you can do something cool with this sound. Peace.